going on everybody? It's your boy Titan and Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Just would like to say happy holidays to you guys and I hope you guys are having a great holiday season and thankful for your family and everything that you have at this time of year because everyone is not fortunate. I just ask that we keep those guys in our prayers that God blesses them. And I also want to thank you for you guys to continue to come back to check out my top 15 sneakers of 2021. Now, there's been some surprises in my top 15 countdown. And as I think about it, it was a nice collab sneaker that I forgot to even put in my top 15. But pretty sure you guys saw it in my honorable mentions. But sometimes you have to make tough decisions. I made it, and who's gonna make the tough decisions for my top 15 countdown other than myself? So, without further ado, let's get to what you guys came here for to see the top five sneakers of 2021 in my collection. We're gonna go with number five. So, if y'all know me personally and my taste, y'all know I like some different stuff. So, with number five, have at it, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, Lord. The Sakane 6000 Food Fights. This is the right sneaker. Check it out. Look at the quality materials on here. Very nice sneaker. Man, when I saw this sneaker, I looked at it. I'm like, man, it's pretty nice. Quality materials. And here's the left sneaker. Two totally different sneakers, guys. And these, actually my first pair of Saucony sneakers. Saucony, Saucony. This is a sneaker that is not commonly worn down south here in Louisiana, but a uh, very nice sneaker. This sneaker was so far, my mom saw them and said she wanted a pair. So I had to get Miles a pair. Miles a sneaker head on the slick. Well, you know, she likes a lot of high heel sneakers. I'm sorry, high heel shoes. But when she saw these, she was like, mm, child, I like that. So I had to get Miles a pair. I was able to secure her a pair of these Sock and 6,000 Food Fight for retail. And she went to church with them on, and all her little friends, you know, she was the talk of the church. So I was happy I was able to do that for mom. But that's the number five sneaker on my countdown the Sock and 6,000 Food Okay, with the number four sneaker of my top 15 countdown of 2021, I'm I'm a Nair 3. Yes, I was. Let me tell y'all about this sneaker. This sneaker had just got delivered the day before I evacuated for Hurricane Ida. And let me add to it, I was also quarantined at the time because I was still awaiting results. From a COVID test and it was time to evacuate and I was still waiting on results so it came time to evacuate we had to go in separate vehicles it turned out to be a blessing in disguise going in separate vehicles because I ended up having to go to work once I got to my evacuation station I had to put in 40 hours out there in the H-Town shout out to H-Town y'all held me down but these sneakers that had just arrived and I left them. I left them here and I was, whew, can't say what I want to say, but y'all get the picture. I was hoping that these sneakers were not damaged and God answers prayers. These were not damaged. I'm, I'm a Nair 3, guys. Y'all know the story. James Whitney and those guys are doing a really good job they've been telling stories these last couple years with these sneakers with all the releases man this is a very quality sneaker and it was a women's sneaker i believe that came out in extended sizes yeah that's right yeah it came out in extended sizes but this is fire a lot of people shoe of the year of 2021 but not mine and only number four on my countdown of 2021 Okay, guys, the number three sneaker on my countdown of 2021. <laughs> it was an early review on my channel. See y'all, 
see if y'all can guess that if y'all been following my channel for a while y'all will see I had these as an early review Air John 1 High OG the University Blue yes this is a University Blue a North Carolina colorway plus the materials on here was so fire you can see that tumbled leather on the quarter panel and the swoosh also catch that toe box there you go sorry for that view then you got that nice wings logo but you can see how soft the leather is right there around that ankle collar that woven patch i haven't worn these yet but goodness gracious these are fire in hand guys that i like them so much i doubled up these are nice guys Air Jordan 1 High OG University Blue. In my opinion, the materials are far much better than they were on the Hyper Royals. Y'all can see those right there on top of my head. Those were earlier on my countdown, but these are the number three sneakers. These are much better than those Hyper Royals. The Air Jordan 1 High OG University Blue. The number two sneaker on my countdown uh, I did not have a review for this sneaker, but I got it in my collection late uh, 2021, back when I was living in a hotel, so I wasn't able to make videos. I didn't have the equipment. All I had was my cell phone, my camera equipment got damaged, and I had to buy all new equipment. But this sneaker is not a Nike, it's not a Jordan. This young brother is a nice designer and he basically is saving this brand right now with the the sneakers he's been putting out him and another guy and one guy that plays for that other team in LA. I'm talking about the New Balance Joe Fresh Goods. This sneaker here is a head turn. Look at the materials on here. This is another sneaker that's not popular down here in Louisiana, but you gotta open your eyes and broaden your horizon, guys. There's some nice sneakers out there other than Jordan and Nike, and man, these are, these are nice. And look all the extra laces it came with. I wish I would've did a review for these, but these are very, very nice. Look at the insert. The Joe Fresh Goods New Balance outside clothes. These are the number two sneakers on my countdown for 2021, guys. And now we've come to the moment of truth. I guess you guys wondering like, damn, he done hit us with all kind of different sneakers. Like, what he got next? What he got for number one? Well, this sneaker was my very first sneaker that, let's just say this sneaker taught me something. It taught me that I had that hustle in me. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. And this was the very first sneaker I caught for retail. However, I didn't know how these run. So I bought my size, my true size. The sneaker was too small, but I was able to get off of it. And I got triple for what I paid. And so I invested that money into another sneaker. But this is the one that started off. And I see ever retro this sneaker had to have I think I had purchased a pair of these the 2015 version of these but the sale got cancelled but however in 2021 they retro these and my goodness I was able to get them. I'm talking but that crazy boy that, that let that girl fry his brain talking about the Yeezy <laughs> 350 V2 Beluga Reflective. These are the 2021 version. The Beluga Reflective. Man, I love this shoe. You can just wear this with a lot of different things. And you can just wear it and beat it up and it's still going to look good. So this is the number one sneaker. It got the party started for me. It means a lot to me. And I was so happy and gracious. They decided to retro it, and I was able to get it in my collection. I'd rather have the 2015 pair, but these are do. These are even reflective, but 
I love them guys. So this concludes the countdown. This is my number one sneaker pickup of 2021. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And don't forget to catch my top 15 countdown for 2022. Cause this year, ooh, woo, it was some things that came out. And trust me, I've been copping. I'm like, oh my goodness, I've been copping too much shoes. So I got rid of a lot of shoes. I've downsized my collection, but nonetheless, I still kept some heat in the collection. So y'all tune in for that. My top 15 countdown of 2022. That's gonna be coming in the coming days. Y'all stay tuned for that. But like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out. And happy holidays to you.